we have motorized a Play Tive brand glider, of the Lidl store, which has a wingspan of 86 cm. These foam plane can be found for a price of about 8 euros. We start by reinforcing the trailing edges of the stabilizers with 3 mm diameter wooden sticks. The wings and fuselage are reinforced with carbon fiber strips 1 mm thick, 5 mm wide and 500 mm long. These strips are placed vertically, which is the orientation that provides the greatest bending resistance. The strips are attached to the foam with total seize polymer glue. We do not use the typical hot silicone glue because it's too heavy and let us a little working time. Since these strips are half a meter long, they do not cover all the fuselage. We complete the reinforcement with a fiberglass rod of 5 mm in diameter and about 20 cm in length. The nose of the plane must be well reinforced, because by containing the motor and battery, which are the highest density objects of the plane, it tends to break very easily during crashes. The motor is a 2508 Racerstar, with 800 watts of maximum power and a speed constant of 2522. The motor is screwed to a wooden plate that we place at the tip of the aircraft. The wood piece is notched with the fiberglass rod that is inside the nose. We also made a hole a little higher, where a wooden stick is inserted. With this, we fix the motor to the foam so that the torque does not separate these two elements. Thanks to the wood piece, we raise the thrust line of the motor above the center of gravity of the plane. With this, we prevent the aircraft from pitching excessively upwards when it exceeds the equilibrium speed, since the thrust force will counteract this pitch by creating a downward torque. The wood piece is attached in its upper part to the fuselage using a cotton thread. With this, the motor pulls uniformly from the entire fuselage. For the elevator we use a sheet of hard plastic reinforced with carbon fiber strips to prevent it from buckling excessively. This sheet is 3.5 cm wide, and is sewn to the horizontal stabilizer in six points with fishing line. The rudder has been cut from the vertical stabilizer, but has been completed with a piece of Depron sheet 3 mm thick. The ailerons are 20 cm long. They are glued to a 3 mm diameter wooden stick, which works as a hinge line. At the ends of the hinge we place pieces of flat ice cream sticks to prevent it from slipping out of place. The tail is attached to the wings by cotton thread. This is done to prevent the propeller slipstream from turning and bending the tail when acting upon the vertical stabilizer. The push rods are made of 1.2 mm diameter wire supported by 3 mm diameter wooden sticks. This prevents any buckling of the rods and provides a very direct control over the control surfaces. The battery is a 3-cell battery with a capacity of 1,500 mAh. The battery is covered with the cockpit, and the cockpit is fixed to the nose by Velcro straps. The ESC is 40 amps, and is placed outside the fuselage to help cool it. To prevent the plane from being damaged during landings, we have placed a plastic plug cut in half on the nose, and a piece of EVA rubber on the tail. We use a 6-inch diameter three-bladed propeller. The final weight is 500 grams. The wing area is 0.115 square meters. The wing loading is 4.3 kg per square meter. The thrust to weight ratio is greater than 1. The center of gravity has been placed 4 cm from the leading edge of the wing. You can see some images of the flight of the plane. And this is all. Thank you.
minutos.